Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 231. I'm Kristen Omdahl. I'm here live in Vanderbilt Beach, Naples, Florida. And I know I've gone a couple minutes early this morning, but I can't in good faith not share with you all that's going on here this morning. There's so much activity in the water. There's a lot of fish jumping. There's a ton of dolphin. I'm almost wondering if there are baby dolphin with the adult dolphin because there's just so much activity out here. Even the fish jumping in the schools of fish are huge. So I don't know if that's what's attracting the dolphin or what, but there's so much going on. Ah, I thought I was gonna get run over. <laughs> that, the big, this guy, he was coming right for me just now. See the track in the sand? I'm like, uh, hello? Can you see me sitting here? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Oh my, I mean, his tracks go all the way down to the water where I'm sitting, so. Okay, I guess I'm not going to get run over. <laughs> so anyway, there's so much activity out here. There are schools of fish that are just swarming so much with so much frenzy that they're popping up a bunch. And I can tell from the size of the fins that they are larger schools, schools of larger fish. And then I've seen a ton of dolphin and multiples of dolphin together. I don't know. I don't know if the camera's in the right spot or not. See that school of fish jumping right there? They're probably in a frenzy because there are dolphin going after them under the water. So I would watch that area now, although we've got some down here by the water's edge too. Anyway, hi, good morning. <laughs> I know I started off, I'm in a frenzy too, but you know how excited I get about wildlife and sharing it with all of you. So good morning and thanks for joining me live. Lots of excitement here today. Now look at how close he is now. What the heck is he doing? I mean like this is a spot I'm sitting in fresh tracks. <laughs> Between the dolphin and way too big of a tractor, way too close to me while I'm sitting here barefoot is Look at the activity in the water right here. This is all fish just in a frenzy under the water surface. Can you see it super close to the shoreline too? Looks like it's raining almost. Hopefully you can see that. So much going on, my goodness. And I had a crazy morning too. I, uh, I got something in my eye this morning and it didn't start bothering me until I was driving down the road in my first 20 minute drive. So it takes me 20 minutes to get from home to tennis and then another 15 minutes or so to get to the beach. And uh, in the first 20 minute drive, my eyes started bothering me. I'm like, okay, there's a speck in my eye. It got so bad, I almost had to pull over. And instead, I started wiping my eye with my finger, which I probably shouldn't have done. Between pulling whatever was, I think I had like multiple eyelashes in my eye one eyelash is painful let alone a couple um, and my eyes just so irritated from it now that it won't stop watering and super red but wow wow so hopefully we'll see more excitement down here this morning but good morning everybody i'm so glad you could join me live hopefully you're seeing lots of exciting things here like me uh, if anybody's crafting on anything this morning, I'd love to hear about it. I came up with an idea in the middle of the night last night. Let's see, what was I going to... Ah, uh, you know what? This needs a little more attention. I was going to design something this morning, it's too late. Okay, Kimberly, Kimberly's safe in North Carolina. That's wonderful. So glad to hear that. Sherry's crocheting her Zen scarf, wonderful. So is Lisa, that's great. Hi Karen and Melissa and Nikki. Hi Edna, hi Letty. I know I didn't say good morning this morning. I had exciting things to show you all. So I started uh, a motif this morning. I was inspired by the center lace stripe in the Zen scarf, the Zen stripe scarf. 
to see if that stitch, how that stitch pattern would translate to a motif. And, um, you know, that's a little bit of a stretch, even for me to do while talking in live, to design something that intricate. And uh, turns out I can't. <laughs> I got through a couple of rows and where I was placing the increases doesn't translate to the next repeat of the increases. So it, it'll work out, but not while I'm talking. <laughs> Jane's going to a knitting club this morning. That's great. Hi, Mar. Thanks for joining live. Did anyone see any of the dolphins so far? Sharon just got her Zen scarf order. Wonderful. She's going to start today. That's great. Thank you. Good morning, Karen. Thanks for joining live. I think I might put my hat on. Maybe that'll help. My eyes are just on fire. I haven't had a chance. I mean, I don't carry eye drops on me and there wasn't time to go get eye drops at the store between getting Marlon to tennis on time and getting here for the podcast on time. So maybe when I leave here, I can stop and get some eye drops, but because I don't even feel like driving at the moment. It hurts that bad. <laughs> Let's see. So this has been sitting in my car since yesterday. Let's see if I can just fix it real quick. Sure I can. Brenda's kit's going to arrive Thursday. Wonderful. There, maybe that'll help when the sun comes up. Because my eye's killing me. Fairy Dust Bunny's knitting a blue hat for charity. That's great. Thanks, Lisa. I love my hat. This is the Serena. A crochet hat and you can find this pattern on my website you can find be so fresh yarn on my website and I have videos for this on YouTube speaking of videos on YouTube yesterday I released the Zen stripe scarf knit scarf and the crochet scarf both have their own videos so now you can get the patterns buy the yarn kit and also watch the videos the yarn kit includes all the yarn you need for it and it includes the patterns and includes a shawl pin and includes what else? Oh, and a pot of Rapture All Natural Delicate Wash. So you get all of that included for the price of the yarn or you can order or you can order the yarns and download them instantly on Ravelry if you want to use yarn that you already have. They're still available on their own too. And now you have videos to follow along with as well. So I spent the day making videos yesterday. That was fun. I haven't done that in a while. Hi, Donna. Good morning. Hi, Sherry. Thank you for joining live. Here comes the sun. So just in case you're intro. Oh, Edna's working on the Elena shawl. That's from Motif Magic. Wonderful. So if maybe or maybe not, you might recognize the stitch pattern from the lace center stripe in the Zen stripe scarf here. That stitch pattern has a small shell and a double crochet, each separated by a chain one space. And I wanted to convert that stitch pattern to a square motif. And obviously it's not square, it's still round. Um, where I was placing my idea of increases for it did not translate well. And that's fine because I know where I'm going to do them for my second attempt. And I think my second attempt will actually be more boldly visible, which might be pretty in itself. So that's fine. Oh, you see the, oh yeah, look at that frenzy. And can you tell that the size of that is not small fish? Those are good sized fish in that frenzy too. So chances are that frenzy is because dolphin are eating through the school of fish on the bottom side. Don't be surprised if you see a dolphin popping now. Okay, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Take my camera and wait out in the water for you? No, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. Oh, 
Oh, there's a whole bunch going over here too. Can you see all the fish jumping there now? Ah, it's breakfast time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't take my camera in the water. Sorry about that, but it's not worth the risk to me of getting it wet or damaged. Thanks, Karen. Let's see, so that gives me one, two, three. Okay, this is gonna work. <laughs> Nikki used the emoji for the fish. Yeah, you can see the fish. Awesome. Even that's exciting. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be dolphins. Sometimes it's just any activity that's fun. And the unpredictability of it. Yes, DJ, I love nature. The unpredictability of it. You never know what you're going to get. Does anybody have any questions about the Zen Stripe scarves that I, uh, of the videos that I posted yesterday? I think I've answered all the questions people had about the patterns, but maybe someone has questions about the videos. I'm welcome. I'm happy to answer those if anyone has any questions. I did, I did get a question this morning in one of the comments. Uh, somebody was asking, I believe it was Melissa, asking if she could adjust the stitch count and do a thicker yarn for the crochet one because she didn't think she felt comfortable looking at tiny stitches like that. And I said, absolutely, of course you could. You know, you do your gauge swatch, figure out what your gauge is, and if you want to, uh, if you want to make it the same size, you would adjust adjust the number of stitches by that. So let's say your gauge is. I'm just going to pick an easy number. Let's say your gauge is three stitches to the inch and you still want to make it 80 inches long. You would say 80 times three is 240 and you would do your scarf with 240 stitches instead of 305 like I did. But one thing that I mentioned in the video, which was specifically pertained to uh, changing the gauge and modifying the pattern, is that for the lace stitch pattern in the center of the scarf, you need a multiple of six plus five. So make sure that you're doing a multiple of six plus five to make sure that you will have the right number of stitches. What did I do now? I still messed up here. Okay, not gonna work while I'm talking, that's all. <laughs> Thought I had it, but I don't. Good morning, let's see. Elizabeth is new to knitting and watched the knitting video and she's gonna try it now. Wonderful, good for you. Oh, the tea, yes. So I've been drinking matcha tea for a long time now, but I haven't been really excited about it. I watch, I read all of this amazing information about the health benefits of matcha tea. And I'm like, oh my God, I want this in my life. That sounds amazing. And I go and try to make it and I go, oh, I don't know if I can drink this. So I like chug it down, get it over with, and then don't really think to go back to it, right? So when I was at that fancy coffee shop on, was it Saturday? Yeah, the day we went to a different beach. Remember we went to Seagate Beach on Saturday and saw like dozens of dolphin that day? So I went to that, this coffee shop and they had matcha latte on their menu and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try it here. I bet they do a good job of it. They can't sell it on the menu for four or five dollars and it tastes like dirt. They just can't. They must know something. So I ordered a matcha latte and she says, what kind of milk would you like? And I said, well, if you have non-dairy, that would be great. So she gives me a choice of non-dairy milks and I chose coconut because that's what I like. So then she pulls out this cute little stick blender. I don't mean the stick blender that we plug in the wall and put in the pot to puree our soups. I mean a mini baby stick blender that had no cord on it and it just whizzed so quietly. And she puts it in my mug with the matcha and the hot water and the coconut milk 
and she sits there for about a minute, a minute and she's going and going and going and ends up giving it to me and it was smooth and it was creamy and it was not neat. Oh, and she put a little bit of raw honey in it. It was actually delicious. And I was like, yeah, she brought a froth to it. It was a little frother. I didn't know what it was. So I, I have a bag of it at home that I bought on Amazon. I have a, which that was the other thing. It can be so expensive. And when I went to Amazon, I found a 16 ounce bag of organic matcha for like well under $20. And I was like, so I have that. So it's just been sitting because I don't like it. And now after I ended up buying a little frother on Amazon the other day, it arrived, it's battery operated. And now I can do that at home. And so I made my first one yesterday and I made my second one today. And I'm using coconut milk because that's what I buy for a coffee creamer or a tea creamer anyway. And a little drop of raw honey, which I could probably do without. And I add a little cinnamon and a little ginger to mine and oh my God, it's so good. So now I feel like this is something I could definitely keep up with daily to get all of those amazing health benefits, still get my routine of a hot beverage in the morning. So I will share with you in a blog post, maybe later today or maybe tomorrow, um, I'll share the two products that I found on Amazon that were good deals, the organic matcha and the little frother, and I'll share how much cinnamon and ginger and stuff that I put in mine and show you how to do it. But um, someone said something about ginger and cinnamon. Ginger and cinnamon are like two of my favorite flavor profiles, besides garlic. <laughs> oh, someone says they used to, it's, Kathy says make a video. Yeah, you know what? That might be a good idea for a video. I think you're right. That might be a good idea. Yes, we'll do that. Yeah, definitely. I'll do a video and then I'll embed it into the blog post so that there'll be photos, links to the stuff and um, then the uh, and the video too. But I couldn't believe how simple it is. And if you haven't seen the health benefits of matcha, oh my gosh, go Google matcha health benefits. The it's just, it's exponentially different from the antioxidants you see in other green tea or in vegetables and fruits that are high in antioxidants. It's so much more potent in antioxidants and other um, I forget what other the health there were other health benefits too but anyway I'll share all that because I don't have a great memory on stuff like that but it's really amazing how good it is for you so my next battle will be um, make figuring out a way to make iced tea with it because I've seen people do iced tea with it I follow a, I follow some matcha people on Instagram for inspiration and I know you can do it so that will be my next challenge is to make a delicious tasting and healthy matcha iced tea. Cause now I got the latte down pat and I'm so excited about that. Um, okay, I'm glad to see other people are interested. Yeah, if we can do something that's that healthy for us first thing in the morning and it doesn't take any more effort than making a cup of coffee, I'm all for that. Dr. Greger's book on how not to die. I have not read that one. I've read a few. I've read Eat to Live. Um, oh, Kathy, I don't know if I'm a barista, but uh, I am excited to show you some little tips and tricks for sure. Good morning, Sherry from Kokomo, Indiana. Oh yeah, you could do it in a smooth, uh, smoothie. I've also seen people bake with it and make green baked items that look really cute, like green waffles and green muffins and breads. It's really cool. And that probably really uh, masks the flavor well. I'm, I'm loving the idea of having my hot beverage in the morning. Uh, that was way too long, couldn't we? Oh yeah, cheesecake matcha, I've seen that too. I love the color. Love the color, it's so pretty. As long as it tastes good. Yeah, I already did put the frother in my Amazon shop, Margaret, um, and I'll talk about it more in a blog post to make it even easier to find. So in my Amazon shop, I have several 
folders to keep things a little bit organized and anytime you can't find something please feel welcome to email me um, I'm doing my best to keep it organized but that does what seems organized to my brain doesn't mean it's organized to others but I have one category called kitchen pantry and specialty foods or something like that and that's where I keep kitchen stuff so you'll find the matcha powder there you'll find all of the dried spices that I use to make chai tea and chai spice mix and you'll also find the frother in there now too how do I care for my bamboo hooks I really don't do much with them Sherry because the oils of my skin actually are what keep them polished I think in my opinion um, if you ever find that you have a snag on them, you could sand them with a really high, uh, high number, you know, the ones that are super, super smooth. And you could also um, add some wax to them if you needed to treat them. But I find that the oils of my hands really do them the most good. And then that's just such low maintenance, but you could you could polish them and wax them if you wanted to yeah beeswax exactly yep and i believe i've already added that to my amazon shop but i don't know which folder it's in because <laughs> i was planning on doing a blog post about that in fact you could use a, to do a really high gloss or a, hot, a really smooth sandpaper you could even use magic erasers and polish them with a magic eraser and then do a thin coat of wax over the top and buff that yeah, you found it there. So if anyone has trouble finding stuff, you know you can just email me, projectkristincares at gmail.com. Um, has to be spelled correctly though. I had somebody leave me a comment on a YouTube video last night that they uh, were having trouble emailing me because my email wasn't working. And I said, well, you know, I've got an email all day, so I think it's fine and turns out they wrote my name with an e instead of an i <laughs> so something to keep in mind words when you write an email it has to be spelled a hundred percent correctly so it's project kristen cares p-r-o-j-e-c-t-k-r-i-s-t-i-n-c-a-r-e-s at gmail.com And turns out, once she emailed me, uh, we got everything straightened away, so that was good. <sighs> Fairy Dust Bunny can't see well. I can't see well today either. <laughs> Thanks, Edna. My eye is on fire. Oh well, I'll live. Yeah, oh, looks like our activity might be done. I guess the breakfast rush is over. <laughs> stitch pattern into a uh, motif. Can't believe I messed it up twice. Oh, thanks Dee. It'll be fine. Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's a water fountain here. Um, I'm gonna, there is a CVS on the corner though. When I leave here, I might pop in there and see if I can get some eye drops because um, I loaned my eye drops to Marlon recently, which means you know a kid isn't being careful about not putting them in his eye probably just let let him have those and get my own fresh bottle of it anyways if you're gonna share eye drops with somebody you should probably shouldn't touch your eyeball with it and I uh, can't guarantee that with a kid so I need my own <laughs> I need my own bottle again <laughs> that's not being germaphobic that's just being practical right <laughs> <coughs> excuse me Good morning, Raina. Thanks for joining live. Sherry, you agree. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's being safe. KB's talking about ordering one of something, and I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Someone's running straight towards me. I don't know what this is all about. Thanks, Raina. This is one of my 
first tank top dresses that I bought on Amazon and one of the original colors I bought too. I love it too. You can find this one on Amazon. I absolutely love the bright flower. It's a navy blue base. I know that doesn't always translate on the camera well. It's a dark navy blue base, but then it has these bright pops of turquoise and pink in the flowers, which matches so well with bright yarn. This one matches beautifully with Caribbean turquoise and Be So Fine yarn, and I think the, the pink flowers match so well with my Candy Yum Yum lipstick. So whether I'm looking to match my lipstick or match my yarn, it's one of my favorite dresses. Oh, I know, it's even better than black. I agree. This, the colors of the flowers look so great on a bed of navy blue, and it would have been cute in black, but it is so much cuter in navy blue. Uh, also, I was looking at these dresses last night because there are two prints on there that are just calling my name right now. One of them is the navy blue one that has feathers on it. Have you seen that? When you go to the page to look at these tank top dresses, there's one that has feathers on it and I'm, what was the other one? There's one other one, like the other one I literally put in my cart last night. Oh, a bright violet purple. So there's a solid color one that's bright violet purple that I was convincing myself last night will go with any other color of yarn for, cause you know, got books on vests and cardies coming out really soon so when that comes out i want to be able to throw those over any dress and i so i'm thinking in terms of the ones that are teal and turquoise and all those blues and greens families or even the gold colors will all look amazing on a violet colored dress so i want the solid violet one and then there's one that has i think it's a denim blue or maybe a navy blue base but it has pretty uh, pretty feathers just pla like placed all over the print. So I, I could s I see myself buying both of those in the near future. And it's $17. That's okay. Oh, no, it doesn't have feathers on it. It's a, the print. See how this one has flowers in the print? That one has uh, feathers in the print. Can you wash a new jacket in the washer when it says hand wash? I wouldn't. If something says hand wash, I would hand wash it. Yeah, Lisa, the the violet purple dress looks like it's going to be on the brighter side. I think it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Someone thought it had feathers on it. No, it's a print with feathers on it, and it's super cute. And I and unusual. I don't recall seeing a print like that anywhere before, so I think it might be fun. Seems like, I don't know, it just seems a little whimsical and cute. Ah, I think Karen lost a needle. Yeah, that happens, I know. I have a set, I'll show you. I have a set of five DPNs in size US3. These are from my set of DPNs that I got such a deal on on Amazon. Can you see how many I have now? Mm-hmm, four. I have searched my house high and low. I've looked in my office. I've looked in the couch. I've looked under the couch. I've looked in every corner I can think of. I'm missing one. And what the heck do you do with that? Not much. I got excited for a second. I saw one half of this circular and thought, aha, there it is. No. No. So now I have a set of four DPNs, which is still doable. But if I lose another one, oh, am I? completely ridiculous. I guess I found it. There's five in here. <laughs> what? I swear I've been lamenting over having only four of these for days. So it goes to show you my eyesight is not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> oh boy. A DPN is a double pointed needle. These are great for doing small swatches or for working in the round or for making eye corn. Oh, Kimberly, you're going to love that black cardi that you got from my shop. It is so easy to wear. It's such an easy little comfort thing to throw over your shoulders over whatever you have on underneath. The hard part's picking the colors, but black's a great place to start for sure. I ended up buying one of the tie dyed ones, which is even prettier in person than it is in the photos and uh, I see more of those in my future too. <laughs> I know Lily, we've got to laugh at ourselves, don't we? Uh, 
Hi, Omu. Thanks for joining live. Lisa, you bought the tie-dye one with the navy and the burgundy. Did it arrive yet? What do you think of the colors? Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, the, the colors on that one are just spectacular. And in terms of yarn colors, it has Parisian Bordeaux in it. It has Harbor Fog in it. It has Blue Danube. I'm trying to think what else it had. I'd have to see it to remember more of it, but really, really beautiful. So it would look really cute if you made a tank top or a shirt or jewelry in any of those colors to wear with that tie-dye jacket or a skirt. Oh, Lisa's is gonna to arrive today. Okay, wonderful. I can't, there was one from a farmer's market. Oh no, that was a tie-dye dress that I wore a while ago. No, you know that new cardigan that I found on Amazon and t-shirt material, uh, the Cardi laundering? Um, I have thrown it in the washing machine on gentle and not dried it. I try not to dry most things. Um, I learned a long time ago when I was going to lingerie shows with Eucalan and even just in the education from Eucalan when we were developing Rapture, I learned a long time ago that putting stuff in the dryer, although it is convenient for lots of reasons, it is also very damaging to lots of different fibers. So anything that you question about whether or not it should go in the dryer, I would always err on the safe side, leave hangers by your washing machine and dryer if you can, and just hang them up. And anytime you can hang something up to dry or lay it flat to dry, you are always going to preserve the life of your clothing, always. Yeah, anything. These dresses I do not put in the dryer, unless it's by accident when I do a big load. it is. Occasionally something goes in the dryer, uh, but I swear anytime I can avoid the dryer for clothing, I do because it just makes the life of my clothing last longer. And who doesn't want to be economical with our clothing, right? I want things to last longer. Ooh, someone's making bacon. <laughs> I think it's the Ritz every now and then in the morning. They might, maybe they're back to business, I don't know. But as I come to this beach in the morning, there, pretty regularly you get this whiff of bacon as you get here and it is such a strange feeling to come to the beach and smell a whiff of bacon, but it's so good. <laughs> uh, Matt, Sherry, I couldn't read what you said. You were mad at yourself yesterday. For some reason, I, the comments are not coming in bold anymore. Oh, we're out of time. If your comment's important, please feel welcome to put it in the recorded version and I'll reply to you later today. So let's take this last minute here to look out on our gorgeous view. Soak in the colors and the sounds of the waves. Ah, there's more activity out there still. And set our intentions for the day. Thanks so much everybody for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed the sunrise, the sound of the waves, the beautiful scenery, the unpredictable activity of the fish. I hope you enjoyed chatting with me and everyone else here. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!